I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. Ho'oponopono is a way to alter your own perceptions. Ho'oponopono is a Hawaiian word means to make right. And what you're making right is your view of things. In Ho'oponopono, we say that in every moment, you're either coming from memory or you're coming from inspiration. Now for 99% of us, we're coming from memory, which means we're just playing our old patterns over again. We have a mental paradigm, we have a belief system, we've been programmed since birth, perhaps before birth, in a certain way of thinking. And so when we're asked the question, or we are faced with any, anything in the moment, we do what we've done before. That's memory. When we do Ho'oponopono, we clean up the memory. And I'm not talking about taking away the memories of your life. I'm talking about taking away the programming that has limited you in your life. And when you take away the programming, now you no longer come from memory, but you're available for inspiration. I love inspiration. I love to be surprised. Because all the problems, all the problems that you experience are not coming from the divine, are not coming from inspiration, it's coming from the programming. It's coming from all the thoughts that are in your head, many of which you don't even know were there. And the previous conversation we had, the dialogue we had earlier with the other presenter about the, the, uh, the mass of the unconscious being 11 miles wide, that is absolutely correct. But what we have in our conscious mind is this one itty bitsy percentage and we think it's the frickin' world. And we are deceived by it. We are sold by it, we buy into that, and what we need to do is erase it. And as we start erasing this, the whiteboard starts to appear again. And as the whiteboard appears, you are now becoming one with the divine. You are now becoming the divine. You are now living and breathing as the divine. So I'm inviting you to go within take responsibility, realize that your unconscious slash subconscious perceptions that have created or attracted the situation that you're in. As you're already inside yourself, you want to at least pretend that you're talking to your creator, whoever, whatever that is for you. And as you're talking to the creator and you're feeling what you're feeling, you're taking it to the creator saying, fix this. You're basically saying, I love you, I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you. I love you, I don't know how to fix this problem, please forgive me for whatever part, whatever role I, my brain, my software, my personality created this. Forgive me and my ancestors for having anything to do with the creation of this, and I love you. This morning when I looked at my blog, somebody had posted a comment that said they were very skeptical about Zero Limits, the book, and saying something as simple as, I love you, I'm sorry, please forgive me, and thank you. And they decided they would just try it. And so they laid in bed saying, I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you, and so forth. And they said almost instantly, the party stopped. <laughs> I wanted to point out, first, the simplicity of this, and then second, something I think is very important. You're not doing the cleaning to get a particular result because if you're trying to get a particular result, you're still in the world of the data, of the ego, of, uh, of intention, of trying to control everything from your little itsy bitsy constants. Ho'oponopono. Maybe you've heard of it, maybe you haven't. If you haven't heard of it, brace yourself because it's the most powerful, the most transformational, the most magical, the most miraculous technique I've ever come across. I'm Dr. Joe Vitale, I've written 80 books, I've recorded 15 albums, I have 200 some products, I have a coaching program, certification programs, but nothing ever has had the impact in my life as Ho'oponopono has. I've been teaching it to other people since around 2005. There is great depth to it, though it's very simple. On the very superficial level, there's really only four phrases and you're kind of saying them as a quiet prayer or petition but there's so much more to it than that. And what I really want you to do is check it out. I want you to check it out for you, your family, your friends, and ultimately for the world. It's that powerful. And as I like to say, expect miracles. I love you. 
I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you.